In this video, I'm going to be going over a Python script that I made that helps uh, automate the process of dumping Nintendo ROM contents. And the ROM I'm going to be uh, showing as an example is going to be the Super Mario Sunshine ROM. I've got the disk for it right here. Um, and so basically, uh, there are already a couple tools that exist that allow you to dump the files that are inside the ROM. Um, so this is the unpacked ISO. You can use Dolphin to get to here. We go into our data. And then we've got all these SCS files. And so what we can do, excuse me, is we could drag an SCS file over yeah, zero deck. And that will give us a dot uh, RARC file. And from there we put that through RARC dump. And then when that's done, it gives us a directory full of contents, which are what we want. So like BMD is a 3D model file. Um, you can use BMD view 2 to export these to a .3ds. And from there, pretty much turn that into whatever you want. Um, and then BCK, I believe, is animation. Mm. And then there might be BDLs, BLDs. Um, they're also um, 3D model files. And the point of the tool is, is that it's kind of annoying to by hand drag, wait, drag for all of these files. It can be quite tedious. So all I did was create a Python script <clears throat> that does it all for you. So it just iterates through every file folder um, in the folder that contains the ROM, um, which you specify. And if it's a .scs, it changes it to, well, it runs it through the converter. And if it's a .rarc, it like, dumps the contents, running it through the rarc dump. So let's open up a PowerShell and see it in action. <clears throat> there. So all right. Desktop GC dumper. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, yep, this is the right directory. So if we just do python gcdumper.py, we'll get uh, help. Uh, they'll tell us like how we use this. Um, and also, if you do dash h, you can also get the help. So let's just take a look at what the help says. Dash h for help. Dash i is for input. <clears throat> and that would be the local path to the root directory of the ROM, which will just be Super Mario Sunshine extracted for me. Um, and then remove, uh, I will highlight what that does later, but basically it removes all the directories and dot rarc files that we uh, this tool creates. So let's run this with dash i right there. So that's the root directory of the ROM. And what's going on? That didn't seem to work. Huh. <clears throat> Why didn't that work? <clears throat> oh, it's interesting. <laughs> I think I might have messed something up. Sorry about that. I'll we'll just see what's going on. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think this might be the issue. Oops. Uh, 
messed up. Oh, it's not callable. Okay. Huh. It worked earlier. Maybe I missed something up. Uh, I think I'll just pause the video for now and figure out what I did wrong. Um, I wrote this script probably a week ago, but I just didn't have time to make the video. Uh, I tested it and it worked, uh, and then I might have accidentally deleted the file or something, uh, or made changes. Um, Yeah, because it's not even doing anything. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll be back in just a second. <clears throat> Alright, so I figured out what the issue was, and it appears that if you have any um, spaces in the uh, root directory file name, um, it will not work. I don't know why. Uh, I'm not, like, a guru with Python. Um, I use it a lot, but uh, it appears that os.walk, uh, and if you, uh, with that, if you have any spaces in the name, it will not work. So I had it as Super Mario Sunshine Extracted, all with spaces. Uh, it didn't work, took out the spaces, and I just ran it to test it, and it did work. So just take note of that uh, when you're naming your ROM root directory. All right, so let's get through the example of this. Oops. All right, so I'm going to put up the root directory of the ROM and then the um, command line or PowerShell. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. Right there, python gcdumper.py, dash i, and then the local path. When we run it, we see is that all the .scs files are being first turned into 0.rargs and then from there the 0.rargs are they're just dumping the contents of them um, and then it's doing all of them so we, it takes a little while to run and you can see how this could be helpful especially for this uh, so you don't have to do it all by hand it saves a ton of time I believe this takes about two minutes to run for this uh, ROM. I haven't timed it, but it feels like two minutes. <clears throat> so we just gotta wait. Where are we now? We are on M's, and we got a little bit more to go. While we're doing that, we can just look inside one of these, see what we get. Um, there we go. Yeah, we got the 3D model for the Delfino Montem model. Mom A model, Mom B. Whatever those are. I can't really remember. Played the game a long time ago. Just don't remember much of like the characters in it, besides Mario. <laughs> um okay, let's see where we are. We should be close, please. Ours. Yeah, we're kinda close. Um, just a uh, quick tip. Uh if you don't like the bunch of stuff printing from the command line, if this is if that's just not your thing, um, you can find online uh, versions of Yak Zero Deck and Rark Dump. Um, their CPP files, so the source code for them, and you can remove or comment out the printf and std out or st with the the printout for C or C plus plus. I forget how you call it. I haven't done that stuff in a while. 
Um, yeah, and then you just recompile them and then swap them out with the ones I include uh, in the GitHub repo. Um, but really, it, it's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, and so after you run it and it extracts everything, it deletes all of the 0.rg files because they're really not needed anymore. Um, and you're not losing too much by deleting them. Um, you can edit the code and just not delete them if you want. Um, I just find that less files is better. Okay, so now let's say we're done with our project and we don't need the contents uh, dumped, but we still want to keep the ROM the way it is. All we have to do is just add a dash R to the end. And it will start deleting all of the files that were generated from this code. Alright, and I think that's it. Yeah, um... What, what's going on? Oh, I can't go back, yeah. I gotta delete the file. Oops. Yeah, um, hmm. uh, so I think I may have mentioned this uh, before I had to pause, but uh, the only way to extract a, or convert a BMD file to any other file type, 3D model file type, that I know of is using BMD view to the GUI for it. Um, you go to file, once you've like loaded in the, the BMD, you just export to 3DS and you have to click through it. Um, there is a GitHub repo of updated BMD view 2 source code that has a commit in it that says, that mentions like being able to do that from the command line. I've tried to recompile or to compile, I guess, that, that source code, but I, I can't for some reason. It's using a really old Visual Studio uh, project type, and whenever I try and compile it on Linux or Windows, it, it fails. Um, but th that's the only way I know of doing it. And if anyone else knows any way of converting a BMD, BMD file to a, like OBJ 3DS that can be done from the command line or be done in an automated fashion, uh, just let me know, uh, like send me a comment or just a message and a link to like that code or application and I'll include it in mine. It'd be really helpful. All right, until next time.